Grab your coffee. Good morning. We're going to start with our hands at our heart. Just take a moment to inhale through the nose. And exhale, pull the belly in and let it go. We'll do that two more times. Inhale. One more time. And then we'll let the fingertips go down towards the floor. Reach your arms up into a back bend. And on your exhale, bring your hands down. Now, if you don't like to do the push-up part, you can go into an, a down dog. Otherwise, bend your elbows and inhale, go into an up dog. Lift your hips, add a push-up, down dog. Now, hold this down dog. We're going to bend one knee and bend the other. Bend one knee and bend the other. Bend one knee and bend the other. So you're in a down dog. Both heels can now lift and exhale lower. Both heels lift and exhale lower. Up and down. And inhale and exhale. One more and then leave the heels down. Press the hands into the floor. Feel the sit bones lift. Five, four, three, two. And then looking up at your hands, you can step or jump to get up there. Halfway up position. When your blood pressure has settled, go all the way into a back bend, upstanding back bend. And exhale, coming over to a side. Reach your right hand down to the thigh. The left foot can cross over. And if you want to add any small rotational movements, you can. We're going to hold. Yeah, either way is fine. We're going to hold for five. Four, act like someone's pulling your arm. Three. Breathe a little bit fuller, a little bit deeper, two. And then inhale, come back up. That foot comes down. Arm goes over, cross that foot. And you can add rotation if you'd like. Five. Four. Yeah, little movements. Three. Two. Take another inhale. Bring it back up. Both feet are underneath the hips. Exhale, bring the hands down. If you don't like the vinyasa, just go straight to down dog. Otherwise, bend the elbows, take an inhale, and lift the hips out of push up down dog. And then hold down dog. The heels are pressing. If you'd like to add on, push the left foot onto the right heel and add an isolated calf stretch. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Let the left foot down. Press the right foot onto the left heel and press that calf into an edge of mild discomfort. Five, four, three, Two, inhale, and exhale. Both heels are pressing. You're going to feel that new length in the back of the leg. And then come up to the hands. You can step or jump halfway up like a table. Now, once your blood pressure settled, go all the way up. Take an inhale. And then exhale, hands come to the heart. Lift and spread the toes. And we'll take a tree pose, Vrikshasana. Right foot up to the calf or the inner thigh. And your foot pushes on your leg and your leg pushes back. You can lift up both arms. That's it. Of course, if you'd like to add on, you can make a little cow face position at the upper body. Lift up through your crown. Two, there you go. Help that arm up, three. 
Rib tuck just a little, Cheryl, four, just for the abs. Five, six, yes, holding. Gaze is parallel to the floor, straight ahead. Soften the eyes. Take one more inhale and on the exhale, the hands can come out to the heart, lower the foot to the floor. Beautiful. Lift and spread your toes again and then take the other foot to the calf or inner thigh. You're welcome to place your hands high or the stretch. Good, I like the way you help that arm up the back side and hold jawline parallel to the floor. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release those hands back down to the heart. Prayer pose, left foot comes down and then open up the arms. Inhale, back bend, exhale, going through vinyasa or you can go straight to down dog. Otherwise you're in a high push up. Elbows bend, inhale, up dog. Lift the hips out of push up. Down dog and hold, heels press. Relax the shoulders. Lift the sit bones. Bend both knees, lift your sit bones higher and then re-straighten the knees. Five, four, three, two. Shift your weight, you're in a plank for a moment. Lift the heart, up dog. Strong hands, inhale. Exhale, press the hips back. Inhale. Up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. And then looking up at your hands, take a step or a jump up, halfway up. Now pausing, add your exhale, lift up into a bit of a back bend here, upper back. And exhale, hands come to your lower back and they interlace. Now lift and spread your toes, exhale, Shift your weight till your left toes are touching. You're in a diagonal. Right foot has your body weight. If you'd like to continue, go further, parallel to the floor, and see if you can find a gay spot on the mat, maybe uh, two feet in front of your right foot, but holding. 10, warrior three, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Take another inhale. Exhale, slowly come back. The foot comes down, your hands are at your heart. Inhale. We're gonna lift up the arms and do the other side. Interlace your fingers the other way. Inhale. Lift and spread your toes. The other foot comes up, maybe a diagonal, maybe parallel to the floor. Energize the inner hamstring to lift up that leg. 
and hold. Shoulders are opening. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Take another inhale. Exhale, slowly come back. The hands are gonna come to the heart and hold. Lift up the arms, sitting in a chair. Now your heels are heavier than your toes. You could test this by lifting up your toes. The, another cue that you could do to see if you're as low as you can get with a healthy knee bend is you touch your fingertips. Usually that'll put you at a, pretty challenging spot, but with safety to your knee. You see how my knees aren't lower than my, my hips aren't lower than my knees at this point. Hold, your heels are heavy. Good, this is great for knee tracking. There's that. <laughs> now wait, inhale and exhale. Your hands are gonna go to your heart. Take a moment. This is the heart position, the hand position we're gonna keep, inhale. Let blood pressure adjust. Sit back in that chair. Your booty goes way back. You can double check before you add rotation, but your knees are in line with your second toe. They're not knocking together. Now the upper body is gonna rotate. The thighs are gonna stay the same. Hook your elbow, push your palm onto the other and open up. Five, four, three, Two, now inhale and face front. Palms go together, add the other side, press. Five, upper back rotation, four, three, two, And then one, open up. Now, if you can add on, would like to add on, lift up your heels and try to balance on all the toes. Your knees are still in line with your second toe and middle hip. Five, your neck has no tension. Four, shoulder blades are down the back. Three, two, with an inhale, prepare. Exhale, stand back up, hands at the heart, lower your heels with care. Gorgeous, inhale, lift the arms. You're gonna pass through squat and then let your hands down. You can either do the vinyasa or meet me in a, a down dog. Otherwise your feet are back like a push up. Bend your elbows, inhale up dog. Look over your left shoulder, straighten up, stretch your neck to the right. Straighten up, lift your hips, add a push up. Down dog and hold. Your heels are pressing, five, four, Three, two, and on the one, lower the right knee down. You're gonna open up the left arm and stretch out like there's a ball behind you. Make sure your neck is happy. Your left toes can be on the floor. Five, stretch through the arm. Four, three, two, inhale. And exhale, the hand comes back down, the right foot goes back, open up. Five. Four. Three. Two, inhale, and then exhale, press back, hands and knees. Lift up the left leg and then pause, that could be all you wanna do. Lift up the right arm and pause, that could be all you wanna do. If you'd like to add on, right hand to left foot and push up towards the sky. I'm gonna take a look at you. Great, five, Four, three, two, 
and then lower right hand down left knee down lift up the right leg and pause you could also take your left hand to your right knee if you don't want to do that just leave both arms and the arm and leg off the floor five four three two inhale and exhale press back to a down dog and just walk it out bend one knee bend the other five four three two and both heels press and the knees come down now if you'd like to double up your mat you can or if you need a cushion we're going to take the toes under lift up the left arm and let your left fingertips reach your foot you could just stay right here and do both sides three counts each or you could keep on going with both fingertips and i'm on the heels my toes are curled under holding six five four those of you that are doing one arm you can do the other knot now three lifting up two inhale exhale one arm comes forward in a windmill let the other one and take a child pose good press your hips down five four three two Spread out your hands like pieces of pyre between them. Press your hips back, downward dog, holding. And then go into a plank pose and hold. So it's okay if you wanna to go to your elbows every now and then it is good though to, to challenge the wrist. Push your hands into the floor. And if you'd like to add on right knee under and hold it for a flamingo. This is an abdominal exercise. Four, three, your knees off the floor if you can, two, your right foot goes back, your left knee comes under, hold this flamingo, keep the booty down, five, good, four, push strong arms, three, two, and the left foot comes back, press back into a down dog, holding here, shift your weight, you're in plank, right knee to left elbow, like a diagonal flamingo, five, four, three, two that foot comes back left knee to right elbow if you need to rest do five four three two that foot comes back down dog pause shake out any tension looking at your hands you can step or jump with your abdominals helping your knees land so you land like a cat you're stepping on your uh, your feet are down your hands are at your shins once your blood pressure feels like it's starting to settle, go up, take a back bend, inhale. And on the exhale, your right hand keeps going back. Your left arm can come forward. Your right hand can go to your right foot. Pull your heel towards your booty, pull your ribs down, pull your pubic bone up. You're tall, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower that foot down. Let's take your hands to the heart and take a moment. Inhale the left arm up. Now exhale the left hand to your left foot. Your right arm goes forward. You're standing tall. Your rib is pulling, your ribs are pulling down. And hold 10, nine, eight, seven. You're actively using your abs. Six, five, four, three, two, inhale, 
and exhale, lower down. We're gonna add on, either do the same pose or add on a dancer. So right arm goes back, hold on to your foot. You can do right this, this right again, or you can push. Your choice, steer the hips, soften the neck. 10, nine, reaching. Eight, pressing into your hand. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, exhale, let that foot down, hands to your heart. Left arm comes up, your left hand goes to your left foot, your right arm stretches out. Now, you could stay here or add on, press, right arm reaching, left foot pushing, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take another inhale, and on the exhale, slowly, Hands together at the heart. Step or jump out about four feet wide. You're spreading out your arms. Your wrists are over your ankles. If not, just make a little adjustment. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward without shifting your booty back. So keep the hip, knee, and ankle in the same vertical plane. Your hands can go to the ankles, maybe the toes. Just hold or pull a little bit on your arms. Neck softens. 10 breaths here. Now the hands go on the floor, pull the floor. Your neck is soft, lift your sit bones. And then interlace the fingers at the low back, stretch the shoulders. Stretch the inner thighs. And then let those hands go. Now we're gonna walk our hands out. This is the hammock pose. It's almost like you're putting down dog together with the inner thigh stretch. Spread out wide ankle. So you're feeling like down dog in the upper body and your legs are spread out like earlier. And just hold five. You can toe in even more with your feet if you'd like. Four. Three. Two. Now you can either stay here or do a little up dog, which is different in this position. Up dog and then down dog, your feet are wide. And up dog. Yep, or you can stay there, Karen, that's fine. Either one, your hands are wide, your feet, your or hands are under your shoulders, your feet are wide. There you go, it's up to you or just stay there. Yeah, three, good. Either way, you're getting a good stretch, two, you're just figuring out what do I need right now? Inhale. I just love that hip flexor stretch, then the inner thigh. Walk your hands back underneath you. Walk your hands back up to your hips and pause at halfway. If you're like me, you need a little time, low blood pressure, get it back and then push, push, push. You can put your hands at your hips, lift your heart. Like a, like a helium balloons attached to you. Five, four, Three, two, good.
Go to parallel. Now step or jump together, hands at the heart. If you need a sip of drink, please take one. I'm gonna take one. It's about the halfway mark, take a sip. And hands to the heart, beautiful. We're gonna add on, lower your booty. You're in a squat. And that could be what you do. You see how your knees are in line with your second toe. If you'd like to add on the right thigh lifts once it wraps, maybe twice. Don't force it, just see what happens. And if you'd like to add on, your right arm goes underneath your left. Your forearms can be vertical and hold. Elbows about shoulder height, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and then stand back up and let those hands come together at the heart. Take a moment. Sitting down. All right, the option is left thigh crosses once or twice. You're hooking your toes around your lower ankle. If, you, if you're doing that second rep, your left arm could be underneath and hold 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale. And then on your exhale, come back up to standing. Your hands are at your heart. Take your inhale to go arms down and lift up into a back bend. Exhale, your hands go to the floor. You're gonna put your feet back. If you wanna do down dog instead, you can. If you'd like to join me in a uh, push up and then an up dog, you can. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Stretch your neck. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Stretch your neck. Center the skull, curl your toes. You can add a lift, a push up and a down dog. Heels press, holding here. Now, one of two options, you can go back down to this knee, right knee, right hand, left foot. So it's like a Maldrasana pose modified, or if you'd like to make it harder, you come up to a side plank, your left foot goes behind you, and then you go into a fuller back bend. Eight, seven, now your left foot's pushing. Six, five, there you go. Four, heart lifts. Three, two, and exhale. You're gonna go sideways, front plank, side plank, left foot on the floor, right foot back, and hold. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, inhale, side plank, front plank, hold the front plank. Five, four, three, two, shift your weight back, down dog. Shake everything out, let go of any tension. And we'll take an inhale to lift the right leg up and just free form, move it. Move your ankle, move your toes, move your thigh, circle it. Just get some mobility in that hip. Five, free form, four, intuitive moving. Three, two, and then sweep that right foot up towards your hands. If it doesn't make it, get it there any way you need to. Even if you have to stand up and kind of be on your leg a little, that's how you can modify. Either way, five, but you're gonna feel some good hamstring on the front thigh. You're gonna feel some good hip on the back leg. Back and forth. The next time that your right knee's at 90 degrees, just lift your heart, stretch out through your back leg. The modification is your left knee could be down or your hands could be on your thigh. Hold, there you go and then lift up your heart here, and that's it. Hold, five, four, three, 
two, and then one. Now we're going to take the left foot in a little bit and we're going to take a stand and that's balance. Now when you stand, your right knee can lengthen. Your left foot's in line with your left hip. You're on a railroad track. Open up your arms in a big circle and there's some balance here. Five, four, try to get a shoulder uh, stretch as well when you're stretching the arms, it's big. Two, you're balancing. Now the hands could interlace at the rear and another, and then open up away from your body. But you can also do a flipped prayer pose, fingers up. Now inhale, you're gonna exhale. This is balance, hinge. Your gaze will probably be towards your right toes, maybe your right shin. Feel that right hamstring, but don't let it go into pain. Feel your shoulders open. How calm can you get? Take another inhale. Let your hands down on the thigh and that could be your stretch or you could go a little lower with your knee bending, a low pyramid. Make it something that works for you. Five, make sure nothing hurts. You don't wanna overstretch the hamstring, just feel the belly, four, three, two. Now, as you're ready, you can wait for me in down dog or you can put both hands down, put your right foot back with your left, bend your elbows, up dog, inhale, drop the chin to chest and stretch your neck. Lift your hips out of push up, down dog. Now the left leg goes up. I will just have some free form. Just move that ankle, move those toes, circle it, open the hip, move where you get different stretch, circles, whatever you need, ankles, toes spread out, inhaling, good, exhaling, that left foot's gonna come forward. If it doesn't make it, you can stand up and put your hands on your thigh. You can put your right knee down. Main thing is right now you're starting to move, the hamstring is getting some blood flow, your hips getting some blood flow whether your right knee's on the floor, whether your hands are on your thigh, just even a couple of inches. Good, inhale, add that breath and exhale. Inhale, even this just is so good. Just staying in these little motions, blood flow, letting your tension release. Now you're gonna lift your heart and just hold. Your back leg is long. Good. Very good. Your left knee's at 90. If you need to put that right knee down, you can. If you need to be hands on your thighs, you can. That looks good. Energize that back knee. Now we're gonna take an inhale. As you exhale, your right foot's gonna come in a little bit. You're balancing as you stand up. Left foot in line with the left hip, right foot in line with the right hip. Now try to make a big, I'm gonna turn so I can see you, five circles. The shoulders are, the shoulder blades are moving. You're crossing your arms, overlapping in as much as you can. Good, enjoy, inhale, lift. On that fifth one or so, you could interlace your fingers. You could namaste reverse and pull the palms up. All right, we're gonna take an inhale. Our hips are square. We're exhaling, hinging. You're probably looking at your toes. Balancing, open the shoulders with the little muscles on the back side of your body, your back, yeah, your shoulder, uh, ex the external rotators of your shoulders. 
You want to feel this in the belly of the hamstring, or maybe you feel it more balancing. Your neck is soft. We're gonna add on, the hands could go to the thigh and that could be it. Yeah, you could even add a lower hamstring. Left hip back, right hip forward, relax your neck. No pain, just a gentle stretch on the hamstrings. Neck softens, you can even shake it out. The right knee is also soft, you're not letting it bend backwards. Now, when you're ready, slowly come back up, lift up your arms, go into a back bend. Inhale, exhale, the hands are gonna come down to the floor. Your left foot can meet the right. You can bend the elbows, go into an up dog. Lift your hips, you can add a push up here and a down dog. Press your heels towards the floor and relaxing. Five, four, three, two, and then three up dog, down dog transitions. Shift through your feet, lift your heart, inhale, open the heart, and exhale, press your hips back. And inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. And inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. And hold, neck soft. And we're gonna take a frog posture. So you're gonna bring your shins down. If you'd like, you can turn your mat so that you have more cushion. I'm gonna be bringing you in a little bit. If you need a water, please grab a sip. But you're gonna be taking an inner thigh stretch. The alternative is that you take a bound angle. The knees are wide, the big toes go together. I'm gonna to take a sip while we're here. Mm -hmm. It's becoming one of my favorite stretches. So you open up the knees, your big toes go towards each other. Now your forearms could be on the floor, but those of you that want your head more supported could be on the doubled fist or just down, belly down, or sorry, sternum down. Good. Mm -hmm. Letting everything go. Keep going. Don't know what that bent on. Good. You might be able to open your knees up wider as you're here. You're not forcing anything, but you might notice you can stretch more. Take 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, 
four, three, two. Now you can stay here or you can have that little rotation we've been doing. It's like this, just a little movement. You don't have to force it. Don't do it if it doesn't feel good. And let's try the other side if you are doing it. Nothing's forced for good Betty. Three, two, good shrink. And then bring yourself back. You may use your arms a little bit more. Briefly take a child pose, press your hips back. You can curl your toes under if you want a different stretch here. Five, four, three, two. And then stretch out your hands like pieces of power between them. Down dog. Hold, shake out any tension. <sighs> Holding here. And then shift your weight till you're in a push up position. And then hold for five, four, three, two. And then slowly lower down till you're in a belly down. Now, either interlace the fingers and lift up your upper back and your arms, or your thighs can add on. Shalabhasana, two more. Lower down and switch your hands. If your hands don't connect, just let them be beside your hips. Lift up. And then lower. Now, if you wanna add on, you can bend your knees and hold on to your feet or your ankles, bow posed on your asana. If you need to do the other posture again, please do. Lift up. Breathe, be easy here. Feel how good that is for your upper back. That's our focus, keep the belly pulling in. Feel how good that is for your chest and shoulders. Push a little bit more with those quads. And relax. Into a child position, press your hips back. Now your belly can go between wide knees if you'd like to add on. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale. So on the exhale, shift back into a downward dog. We're either going to take a pigeon or a figure four. Please choose which is appropriate for you. If you'd like to take pigeon, your right leg can come up and then your right thigh can come forward. Stretch your left leg back. Your hands are beside your hips, breathing. Mm -hmm. That's it. So if you need a figure four, please take that. I like it. Ah, uh, you see how the muscles start to relax and you sink a little four. You can stay there. I'm just turning so I can see you a bit better. All right, that's good. We're gonna exhale down. Imagine you're trying to take your crown away from your foot and relaxing. 10, nine, eight, seven, You can gently press your back up if you're here. You can also take a little variation that you've been craving. If you're in the figure four, you can take some ankle rolls or something, but yeah, just have fun. This is one. Some of you might like both hands back and you push. And when you're ready, you can place both hands down. You curl your toes, press your hips back. Walk it out. 
Now that feels so good. Can you feel how much longer that is in that leg and then even through the hip? Lift up your other leg, inhale. Exhale your left thigh. Now. And hold, shoulder blades are down the back. Good, Betty. If you need more stretch, that whole thigh shin unit goes out more. You always wanna check that your knee is safe though. Good, and you can be more upright if you want more stretch, Betty. Yeah, kind of walk your hands underneath you more. The shoulders are down. And it's not like you're hanging out on the hands, but they're helping you keep the upper back lifted. Your neck's soft. I like, I like to move the foot back. So as your hip gets more open, you can sometimes move your foot back. You can change where your bones were originally when you set up because the muscles have let go. As you're ready, you can exhale down. You could stretch the arms out or place them under your head. Just see what makes you be able to relax the most. Oh. Breathe low in the belly. Take another inhale. Now as you're ready, you can also start sliding up or peeling up. Maybe do a variation that you've been craving. Maybe bend your knee, stretch that quad. It's up to you. You could be down more if you need, yeah. Oh, belly in. Some of you might be craving both hands back. Good, way to try Shireen, that's it. Upper back, good. Upper, good, four, I like it. Three, two, take another inhale, good, Pam. When you go back, you can curl those back toes under. That'll give you a little room to lift up and then take a down dog, walk it out. Take, keep going, I'm just gonna take a little sip. Five and look for Good, three. Now we're gonna um, press the heels down for three, two, one, shift your weight. Now, do you see how you're in a plank? Lower down, take your left arm underneath your right armpit and take your right arm out. So did you see how I came into a twist? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then just let the, let the melting begin. Let everything just relax you. It's like you're a big sandbag and the four corners of the bag have been cut and you're just draining into the ocean or draining into the, the beach.
five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go belly down. We're going to take it on the other side. So you're going to put your right arm underneath. Your left arm goes out and you can stack your hips. They're vertical. Your gaze is going to be towards your left arm. Let your right hand help push you down. Five, four, three, two, and one, and then gently come on to your backside. You can rear line your spine and pull your thighs so that you can stir each thigh. Uh, stir the pot, it's called. You can do this separately or independent, uh, separately, the same direction or opposite. I'm going to change directions here. And then we're going to take a bridge so that your feet are on the floor. You're going to curl your spine up and down three times before we hold. Two. And three. Now in the third, you can put your interlaced fingers underneath you and shoulder shimmy and feel that extra stretch. If you have been working on a full back bend, you can take it. Your fingertips go towards your shoulders and you go up. Do what you need. Three, two, and then curl down. And terrific. We're going to take a feet up on the wall posture if you'd like. The hips could be elevated on a foam roller. I always like that little extra lift so that you get this decompression. The hips could be on a foam roller or a yoga block. Knees are soft. Take a couple of big sighs, just like you're getting rid of tension in the body. If you can yawn, that's another way to help regulate. Let it go. Let it go. If you can take two yawns, go for it. It's a good way to quickly regulate. <sighs> Exhale out. Any tension and then inhale. It's like there's a fresh new light coming in through your nose and it's expanding all the areas of your lungs. Hope, new creativity, light, support in all of the areas of your lungs. Let go of anything old or dark inside and inhale fresh new light. 
Imagine you're breathing throughout your whole body. You're breathing into your toes, your calves, your knees. You're breathing new life into the thighs. You're healing your hips, your arms, sending some fresh energy and attention to all the areas of your body. Inhaling attention to the ribs, attention to the heart, the shoulders, the hands, the neck, and the face. Just letting go. So notice how good you feel with that lighter energy, that sense of peace and calm. You can slowly begin to awaken the fingers and the toes and make your way towards a seated position. Lifting up through your spine, your eyes are soft or closed, and we're gonna take a hand to the heart and the other one covers it. So just imagine your breath goes directly to your heart and it expands all the area around your heart. We'll do that again. So it's like your way of tapping a quick connection into your heart. So easy to get mind centered during the day with all the decisions we have to make. So it's just a chance to tap into your heart to your visceral, visceral response to things, to your visceral yearnings towards things. So that you're a healthy balance of mind and heart. You're able to tap into the body's intuitive wisdom when you're getting still and just making that connection. And then we're going to take a moment to notice how it feels to have connected with your heart so that it's easier to tap into during challenging moments during the day and in re-regulate. Whenever you're ready, allow your eyes to open and come back into the room. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Happy Friday yoga, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.